Well, Westchester's Independence Party may only be a minor party, but they still play a major role in county elections. But now they're losing thousands of members after a ruling from a state appellate court and party members are actually calling that a victory in an ongoing battle against Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino. News 12's Stefan Kim is in White Plains and has more on what this ruling means. Stefan, so why are they so excited about this? Scott, not to be confused with Independence, which are registered unaffiliated voters, the Independence Party is a minor party, but it is the county's third largest party. So this ruling can impact future elections. Play fair. Uh, there, are, there are rules, uh, there are laws, and there are rules to protect minor parties. It's a big win for the Westchester Independence Party, now allowed to kick out nearly 4,000 of its members. After a state appellate court ruled Wednesday, the party was within its rights to cancel those enrollments, overturning a lower court ruling. Party officials have been arguing Republican Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino and the GOP tried to hijack the party in last year's county exec race by unlawfully enrolling members who they say were Astorino loyalists in an attempt to secure the independence ballot. Sam Zerka is the publisher of the Westchester Guardian newspaper, an independence party supporter. What Rob Astorino tried to do was disenfranchise the vote and the rights of tens of thousands of real independence party voters for his, for his personal greed. After endorsing Astorino in his first bid for the office, Independence Party Chair Julia Cavallo switched sides in the 2013 race and endorsed Democratic candidate New Rochelle Mayor Noam Bramson, who ended up losing the county executive's race. There is a state law designed to prevent raids on minor parties to prevent them from turning them into extensions of major parties. In its decision, the court ruled the party proved those members being removed were not in sympathy with its principles. In a statement Thursday, an Astorino spokesperson disagrees, saying, quote, 4,000 more Westchester County residents just learned about the madness of the Independence Party. It's a party that stands for nothing other than the enrichment of its leaders. Party supporters, though, say this ruling gives the vote back to its loyal members. It's a very fine spin when you lose a case instead of dealing with the facts of what actually transpired, which was a raid on the Independence Party at the direction of Rob Astorino and his cohorts. Those removed members will still be able to cast their votes as independent voters. The purge of these 4,000 members cuts down the party by about 17 percent. In White Plains, Safan Kim, News 12. We'll have to wait and see what effect that has on the election. Coming up pretty soon. Thanks very much, Safan.